Hey guys, today I will show you how to create abstract floating cloth effect with vellum in Houdini. Start by making a grid. This will be the shape of our cloth. You can make any shape, just let's stick with the rectangle by now. As we will probably need more polygons, let's add a subdivide node. Place a UV unwrap node. I will explain why we need to do that a bit later, now just trust me. Now to the simulation part. Add vellum constraints. This is where we can define the behavior of the simulation. Don't forget to change the type to cloth. Also, we will need the solver. Connect all the outputs of the constraints node to the solver node. Let's check if everything is correct. Yep, cloth is falling, so everything works. We need our cloth to stay in place, so let's turn off the gravity. In the solver, open forces tab and make the y-axis value 0. Now we will add some wind. Jump in solver and add a pop wind. Attach that to the output of the solver. Tweak the amplitude, swirl size and turbulence. There isn't a right set of parameters, so feel free to experiment. Now let's get back to the solver. Press play and you will see how the wind forces affect the cloth. Now make the cloth smoother. Let's add a vellum post-process node. And before going further, remember we added the UV unwrap at the beginning. Let me explain why we need that. I'll drop a UV quick shade node to visualize the UV and let's play our animation. As you may see, the squares of the UV aren't distorted that much. It means that the applied texture will not stretch anywhere. If we go back and bypass the UV unwrap, you can instantly see how UVs are being stretched because of the deformation of the initial geometry. Back to well and post process. Add a bit of thickness and let's subdivide our geometry so we have smoother creases and folds. Our simulation is going too fast, so for a nice gentle floating in slow motion we need to drop a time blend node. Set the evaluation mode by speed and my preference is to keep it at 0.2. Make sure that time bend node is active and set to display and let's play our simulation. I want the wind to influence the mesh a bit more, so I will make it weaking in pop wind. So this looks satisfying by its own, but let's export it just one frame and jump into Cinema 4D to shade it. Drop a Ropal Ambic output node, 
now we will just render current frame so leave all the settings as is set your output path and hit save to disk you can use redshift or octane for houdini and shaders right here but it's still a bit more convenient to me to export the geometry and set up the lights and cameras in cinema 4d so let's open that So we opened Cinema 4D, dropped our Alembic file there, and uh, I will just show you how I do the really basic setup of natural lights. Add uh, environment texture, HDRI texture, the, I'm using the set of Kung Fu Jack Rabbit graphic textures, they work really well. I'll add in another environment and make it visible, so it don't affect the lights in the scene. Now I'll add an octane camera and also if you need you can add a subdivide node here in Cinema 4D to make your mesh even smoother. I'm using Grayscale Gorilla Everyday Material Pack. I've just got a cloth material, tweaked the their settings a bit, made it even darker and that's it. Here you may see one of the projects I've done for a local fragrance brand and uh, I've used a lot of like swirly cloth even in style frames. I mean, I love how the light plays with all the folds and creases of the cloth. It makes really like floating weightless effect if you would like. So um, yeah, be sure to check out the Houdini Vellum and hope you guys like it. Thanks for watching.